something's a little bit strange with the um, packaging and or it's user error and I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. I really just have them cut, oh, I'm like flipping you off there. Whoops, no, I didn't mean to do that. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my October favorites here for you today and I have got some standout favorites this month that I couldn't wait to share with you. So I've got my overall Friday favorites that I'll go through quickly. Then I've got some makeup-y things, um, a body care, a hair care, a skin care, a random, just a lot to talk about. So let's get to it. For overall Friday favorites for eyes, these two are my standouts. This is the must have Color Powder Moonlight, and this is in Champagne. I talked about this a couple times. It's a beautiful kind of like peachy champagne sort of a pigment. It's beautiful. And then this is what I have on my lids today. This is the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. This is amazing. These are amazing. I love them so much, and this is a standout favorite. For blush, I'd say my overall standout favorite is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush and Sensual. It's just a really nice, like, very neutral sort of blush color. That's what I'm wearing today. And it's just like a warm brown sort of a color. Really, really pretty. Goes with a bunch of different things. It's great. For lips, my standouts are both Ofra Liquid Lipsticks. This one in Americano is an amazing like warm brown color. It's so pretty. And then this one is from their new collection. This is Cape Town and this is part of the Vintage Vineyards collection. That's what I'm wearing right now. These are both amazing. Very different. One's a very like warm brown sort of a edgy kind of a color. Very fall. This one's fall too though but it's like that girly berry kind of a fall shade. They're both amazing. A couple of makeup -y favorites. First off is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup. I got this at the Makeup Show Dallas and I really am surprised how much I like this foundation. I do have a get ready with me using this and um, a bunch of other new products that I had gotten mostly from Makeup Show but also other places too and just, just new products I wanted to try out. So if you want to see this in action, check out that video. But it's got like a little um, spongy dealy on it and then you twist it up and you can kind of like, I like stamp it on and then I buff it in with a brush. Um, but I really do like it. It's very like skin-like. It is a radiant makeup. It does give you a glow, but I like that. And it doesn't break down on me. So while I do look radiant and or oily at some point in the day, I do get a little bit oily looking, way more with this one than the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I mean, the Double Wear regular is just like, wears like iron. I don't get oily pretty much at all. This one I look radiant and then I'll start to get a little bit oily but it's not breaking down so I don't know. I just really am liking it. I have it in 2C3 Fresco and I'm just impressed with it. I'm really impressed with it. I would say check out that Get Ready With Me so you can kind of like see it in action and see what it looks like on my skin you know without everything else on um, but it's great and I like the packaging on it because it's kind of a little bit something different. I've been loving this product. This is from Voodoo Makeup and this is 10 years younger and it's basically like an under eye corrector. So I do have this on. I did use this in the Get Ready With Me so you can see an action there. And there I wasn't really understanding. I thought it was drying out but then one of you guys told me, I think it was Michelle, I think it was you Michelle, um, that told me you talk to the owner of this company and these, this product and also I think their foundation too has coconut oil in it. So it has to be like warmed up with your fingers. So you have to kind of like warm up the product. So, and that's what I've noticed. Like once I thought it was just drying out and I was having to get past the first layer, but it was just the coconut oil needing to be warmed up. But it's just a really pretty kind of like, it's right there. You probably can't see it very well, but it's like a pinky sort of a product. So it's just very brightening. And I mean, it cancels out that darkness under the eyes like nobody's business. And it blends really well. It has great coverage. It wears well throughout the day. I love this stuff. Like when I run out of it, I think I would really want to buy it because I've been using it nonstop. Like since I got it, since I tried it, and really fell in love with it. I've used it pretty much every day. I also got this at the makeup show. This is the Senna Moisture Drop Gel Primer. 
says infused with water and argan oil. So they told us at the show that this is a more water-based primer. So that's why it says infused with water. So it's a more water-based primer versus a silicone-based primer. And I just have found that every day I've used this, I feel like my makeup has worn better. It's gone on more easily and more smoothly. I'm just really liking this primer. The only negative I have to say about it is it's kind of like hard to pump out the product. I feel like I'm having to like squeeze it and turn it and really like get at it to get any product out of it. So I'd say that the something's a little bit strange with the um, packaging and or it's user error and I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> but I do really like this primer. So if you are not a fan of primers, which a lot of times I'm not, most primers I really don't like, um, I would say give this a try because I feel like it's a different sort of a primer in its formulation and just how it works. It's a great one. For skincare this month, these have been my go-tos. This is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argon Oil. I've already talked about this several times. This is like one of my favorite skincare products of 2016. I know it will be in my 2016 favorites because I am just obsessed with this oil. Like, have to use it consistently. I just find that my skin has been looking better. My fine lines are lessened since I've been using this. It's amazing. But then also I've been using this with it this month and I just have like a little sample-y thing. This is the Kate Somerville Delo Oil Restorative Treatment. It says 100% natural. It says firmer skin with each precious drop. So I've used quite a bit of it. Says exclusive to Kate Somerville, rare Delo oil from Fiji is cherished for its multiple restorative benefits, including hydrating and nourishing the skin and reducing the appearance of wrinkles. 100% natural formula. And it talks about like, you know, percentages of what people noticed when they used it. But I do notice that, that my fine lines, I really just have them kind of, oh, I'm like flipping you off there. Whoops, no, I didn't mean to do that. Um, they're like right in here. <laughs> And I just noticed when I, the nights that I've used these two together, they look lessened. And, you know, I'd been using this before and really noticed just a difference in the overall look of my skin. So I think this just helps the overall look of my skin in general. And I think this has really been addressing the fine lines. And again, I think when I run out of this, I'm going to have to buy the full size. And I think the full size, you know, which is, I don't know. I don't even know how to compare it. Like here, this bottle, it's probably up that tall and it's, I think around $60 or so. I would really consider buying it because I'm super impressed with it. A standout hair care favorite for me this month. And really, I would say this is an overall favorite for the last several months. This is the standout. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I got this in... Oh goodness. Either Ipsy or BoxyCharm. I can't remember which one, but... I love this stuff. I feel like my hair just works better when I use this. It feels thicker, like it has more, um, I wouldn't say texture because it doesn't make it feel like crunchy or anything like that. It just has more like substance to it. It feels thicker. So it holds the style better. It just styles more easily. It's so great. Now, Yesterday I did kind of like a, I wanted more of like a wave and then today I just used dry shampoo. So my hair, you know, it looks less curly today. But even when I do that, like either if I do like really tight curls or if I do just like a quick wave, I use the same wand. It just depends on like, do I divide up my hair and really hold it a long time, let it set, or do I just quickly run the wand through it? That's really the difference. If I, you know, take a lot of time, it's super curly. If I just quickly do it, it's wavy. That's really kind of, I fix my hair pretty much the same every single time. It just, those are the minor things that I change. So regardless of how I fix it, I just noticed that this makes it better. So if you have fine hair, if you have thin hair, if just like you feel like your hair is um, lacking oomph, I would say give this a try. It's so good. I'm calling this a body care favorite because it's a hand wash, so that's part of your body. So this is my body care favorite this month. This is an unopened one, but I have an open one in our guest bathroom. This is the Pumpkin Cranberry Cider. This is from Bath & Body Works. The Nourishing Hand Soap with Pumpkin Butter. But this scent, I hope you can still get this because I know that they like change out their scent so quickly. So I don't know if you can still get this, but if you can find it and get it, 
It's amazing. Pumpkin cranberry cider. Oh my goodness. Man, I don't even... Oh my gosh, because a lot of times I'm not a fan of cranberry scents because I feel like they're like overly sweet. This is very cidery. This smells like a fall drink or something. Oh, it's so yummy. And then when you wash your hands with it, it smells really, really good. Like it actually, when you wash your hands, it smells like it does when you smell it in the container. You know what I mean? You get that yummy fragrance. It's so fall. It's one of my favorite scents. I loved their, um, oh goodness, the pear and sugar scent. Love that one and love this one too. These are like super duper standout scents for Bath Body Works for me. Fashion favorite is my ring. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram, so if you wanna see like an up close picture of it, check there. But this is from Her Mind Designs. I met Bella, she and her mom create this jewelry. I met her at a craft fair and first off, she is such a sweetheart. She just seems so kind and just such a sweet person. And she and her mother are amazing artists. Like when I saw her booth, it was just like so creative, so artistic and amazing. The work that goes into their pieces just blows me away. I love unique, artistic, original jewelry and that is absolutely what they do. Every piece is different. They use beautiful stones, they use copper, they use silver. I mean, it's like they melt things down and place little, you know, pearls and different kinds of stones in it. So, I mean, it's just amazing. Their pieces are gorgeous. So I will leave their information down below. Definitely check them out. They have a lot of pretty pictures on their Instagram, also on their website. I'm just amazed with their artistry. They are super duper talented. And again, Bella is so, so sweet. And then lastly is a song favorite. It's called Thy Will Be Done. It's by Hilary Scott. And it may have come out a while ago. I'm honestly not sure, but I just heard it on the radio a couple times. And then I started looking it up and listening to it over and over. And it's just an amazing song. And it makes me cry when I listen to it because it is my heart's cry. Like the words she says, really rings true to me. Um, I just posted my pregnancy loss and miscarriage video recently, which you guys were so sweet. And just thank you for all of your love, support, encouragement, prayers. Y'all are just the best. And I appreciate you so much. So, um, you know, based on that and just other struggles in life, um, this song just really speaks to my heart because it, what she's saying in it is, um, Basically, she doesn't understand, but she still trusts God through it. And that's absolutely my heart's cry that, you know, and that's what I tell the Lord. I tell him when I don't understand why things are happening. Um, I tell him when I'm frustrated, when I'm sad, um, and I just pour my heart out to him. But I also tell him how much I love him through it and that I trust him. So, um, yeah, I just love that song. So if you haven't heard it, I would say definitely check it out, but maybe wait till you're near some Kleenex. And I don't know what's going on with my voice, but I sound like a frog. <laughs> all right guys, so those are all my October favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this month. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.